Welcome back my gardening friends. Well, it is a bit blowy and wet today, but I do need to get the root beds uh, ready for this year. So I'll just uh, dig another spit out. Already removed the uh, annual weeds, uh, well, biannual weeds, and uh, then I'm not liming, I'm going to use the uh, Cotswold stone from home when we did the uh, garden makeover. Well, use that. I've got several tubs. I don't normally use the ashes uh, at this time of the year, the log ashes, and I wouldn't use, normally use them while it's so windy. And I'd try not to actually tread on the soil. then covering it with the uh, cardboard but I haven't got enough stuff at the moment to keep putting the cardboard on I'm removing all the uh, plastic tape because uh, we don't want to be picking that up uh, afterwards right I'll just have a breather and uh, we'll show you what uh, we've been up to anyone that's been following me has uh, noticed that uh, my fruit cage used to come out to there and I was struggling to get through now that's a lot better when I change all my beds this will be the width of the path all the way up similar to uh, plot one hashtag starting a new allotment I've uh, replaced a few boards got that done move those posts now I've dropped onto some of these pavia blocks now this board uh, is a lot deeper just enough just to cover with wood chips so the birds don't uh, scratch it out and uh, find their way in but that will help I'll be able to stack the wood chips up as close as I can the boards will stay a little bit drier these boards have now got to come off uh, into the polytunnel to get some paint on them I shan't paint them there uh, I don't want to get paint on the blocks or too much anyway and uh, hopefully This isn't, uh, this is reasonably straight now after doing those uh, few repairs. Now, I've, I want some advice, guys. Uh, I want to go no dig, whether you, whether you can call it no dig or not, because as you can see, my soil is quite good, but what I don't want to do is spoil the actual structure of the soil. Now, we're on the root bed from last year, and you can see the worms, these are not composting worms, these are the uh, garden worms, soil worms, and they bring all the uh, castings up, aerate the soil, and then what do I go and do? I go and dig it up, cut the worms in half, and uh, spoil the structure of the soil. And even in the onion cage, they're doing the job. Now I try not to walk on my soil and what have you, but sometimes you have to. And so that's why I wanted to go uh, no dig, so that the beds were wide enough so I could just reach over. Now my beds have always run from, uh, that's west, this is east, south and north. Now they've always run that way. Now I do know that obviously the sunlight is going to want to come down and cover all the crops. So I was just wondering whether to carry on that way or shall I actually uh, go this way. So it'll be up to, up to there going this way. I've done a little bit of pegging out. Now I want 500 millimeter paths, 20 inches, and say four foot beds, about 1.2 meters. But to, if I did that going from there to there, then I'm struggling to get the straw bale gardening in down here. So I might have to make the beds narrower. So just a bit of advice, 1.2, four foot, is that going to be not wide enough? I can get five beds in by that distance. 
whether I split them halfway down, I don't know. But I just, uh, just a few thoughts off you kind people before I go mad. Shan't be starting this till the autumn, till some of the crops are out. And uh, I say, I've got to plan where my crops grow so that I can start putting the first beds in here. So I may limit what I grow this time, but we will see. Just your thoughts, please. We are due a, a cold blast uh, in the next uh, week or so with snow forecast. The broad beans are doing quite well. So hopefully they, they will survive this. Well, they will survive, but it'd be nice not to have them all die back like last year. So I am sort of planning for that event. Yet I still planted out the onions that everybody told me not to. Uh, you'll be seeing an update of the grow room uh, after this video. Now these are the Bedfordshire champions, uh, just half of them. Uh, you'll see in the next video why I've bought them out. And uh, there are the uh, Kelsa from uh, Pete's Back Garden. Again, you'll see the difference uh, in, uh, with that video. The difference between T5 lights and ordinary lights, uh, it, it's just an unbelievable difference. There's my, what I believe is elephant garlic from Mike Herdis. And even some of the areas that I thought my red electric onions weren't coming through, they are poking through. And the ones that look dead have got roots on, so stop messing with them and leave them to grow. Done the little job, got rid of that little bit there, so now the water can get down. And when I lift this up, it'll go into the guttering. That was in a previous video. As you've already been told, I have moved the brassica cage and uh, how I actually do these hoops uh, and how I sew the netting together is on my playlist. So you're looking for brassica cage moves and uh, I'm not sure which whether I've put the sewing one uh, using the machine sewer to sew the two uh, nets together. Uh, these blocks, remember, they come from um, one of the plots. I'm probably going to use these to sit the boards on when I do the raised beds to keep them off the ground a little bit. As you can probably see, uh, this pile has now got bigger. And uh, this stuff uh, looks like it's been sat in a ditch for quite a while. And it looks uh, cracking stuff. Just a few boards left. These are the boards that I used to build the raised bed in the polytunnel. So running those few along the fruit cage and those few there now, um, yeah, I've literally used them all up bar from the bits that were rotten. And I should probably use these as a temporary measure to help with this because we have got uh, one that's uh, gone rotten. So I might just build that up etc and one of the main reasons for actually doing the raised beds are these are uh, pallets so that part of the pallet that, that the, the material sits on it goes that way with the um, the supports the runners and then I've used a, a piece of uh, pallet to sit on top just to cover it up but that's done me now for four or five years but they have had their day so there you are going you can see that better so just imagine a pallet on its end and then I'll just put a piece of wood on top. Ideal for me at the time, but it is getting a little bit wee dangerous as I tread on them and uh, you don't really want to be turning your ankle. I have done uh, a bit more soil sifting. Uh, I'm using the soil from the old beds, spent compost, the potato compost with all the goodies in it and some of the material out of these tubs. So we now have one two three completed four five that's an extra one and uh, as i use this soil i'm moving it up but there again i'm having to dig them in the ground so i'm creating as much soil again so at some stage this soil is going to go outside but it's dry i don't want it to go outside at the moment so this is an ideal sifting place for here and the raised uh, carrot box will be ideal for doing the sifting outside. This has had the manure right in the bo bottom, similar to um, in the polytunnel, and then all the material that was in here has been sifted. 
I'll do exactly the same as that when we actually ha finished harvesting all the carrots but I do intend to uh, sift all the material out of these or as much as I can but this material will be ideal in here for the carrots and at least I know the areas that I can use that are free from stones, debris, plastic etc. Well, it's surprising how long these jobs take. I spent nearly all day Saturday the uh, 12th on the, the fruit cage and uh, start digging that. Did a bit of sifting while we'd had the, uh, the rain. Still got the canes to do. Jobs are never ending. And you can see why some people do get fed up, but this is why I do come down the allotments all year round, especially this year because we haven't had the weather yet but that's coming very soon so I should be busy at work and won't be able to spend time here so and the polytunnel still hasn't had its repairs done it's far too wet the uh, clamp seems to be doing okay as you can see the two mouse traps haven't been tripped now for quite a while my uh, second Kelsey onion that I want to go to seed is uh, on its way and uh, I've just got to damp these up a little bit, but hopefully these tubs contain the tomatoes that are just threw in, squished, chucked in the soil, and they'll be taken to the propagator sometime in uh, early March. Happy gardening to you all. Uh, I believe there's another YouTuber been removed. Uh, one of our creators has been removed from YouTube. So uh, I am going to be very careful what I do, say, etc. And I am reporting all um, comments that could be conjured as spam uh, from YouTube and reporting them just to be on the safe side. Take care, my friends. Till next time. Ta-ra for now.